Hey everyone, Zach here from Action VFX. Today we're going to be looking at how to change the skin tones on our gore textures. Let's get started. I have this image with some different skin tones that we are going to match the wound to. First, I'm going to bring in my wound and pre-comp it. Now, let's place it on one of the arms. I'm going to use the EXR version of the wound so that I can have more control, but you can also use these techniques on the PNG versions. Inside the pre-comp, I'm going to add the extractor effect to my wound so I can access the render passes. If you're using the PNG versions of these, what you want to do here is just simply create your own mask and use that so that your skin tone adjustments only are adjusting the skin instead of the wound. For this first layer, I will choose the subsurface scattering pass and check the unmolt option. I also need to add a shift channels effect and set the alpha to full on. The wound will look odd right now, but we need to do this so that we have the correct alpha channel results at the end. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer two times and set one of them to global illumination and the other to diffuse lighting. These two layers do not make much of a difference with this wound, but for some of the other wounds they do. I also need to set the blending mode to add for all three layers. I will add an adjustment layer here for adjusting the skin tone and then duplicate my wound three more times. I set the first one to reflections, the second to specular lighting, and for the third layer, I'm going to remove all the effects and set the blending mode to stencil alpha. I'm going to add one more adjustment layer that will convert the linear image we are seeing right now back into the sRGB color space. I need to apply the color profile converter and check the linearize input option. When I applied the extractor effect, the image we saw was in a linear color space. Having this adjustment layer here will allow us to combine the render passes correctly and then bring the image back into the original color profile. I'm going to duplicate my wound one more time and place it above the skin tone adjustment layer. I need to use the skin mask render pass here so that I can adjust only the skin. Now I can set my adjustment layers track map to luma mat. Let's jump back into the main comp and lock the window so that we can see our adjustments. Back in the pre-comp, I'm going to add the levels, individual controls, and the curves effect to my skin tone layer. I have tested several ways to do this and this process was by far the cleanest and the most versatile. To see my adjustments better, I'm going to change the view to four views and set one to show the red channel, one the green channel, and one the blue channel. Now I'm going to adjust the gamma of each channel until I get a matching skin tone. I'm also going to use the curves to fine tune this just a bit more. And it's that easy. Let's look at a couple more skin tones. I'm going to reset my effects on the adjustment layer and start from scratch. Again, I'm going to adjust the gamma of each channel until I get a matching skin tone and then fine tune it with the curves effect. I'm holding control down while I change these values so that they change at a slower rate and I can control them better. I'm also going to add a hue saturation effect and boost the saturation just a little. Yeah, that looks great. Let's take a look at the light skin. For the light skin tone, we're basically gonna be doing the exact same thing again, resetting the values and starting from scratch and adjusting till we get something that looks right.
Once again, we're going to adjust the gamma in each channel and do some fine tuning with the curves. And lastly, we'll boost the saturation. All right, and we're done. We offer these new Gore textures as EXRs so you can easily fine tune them to fit your scene. And this process we just covered should help achieve your final result no matter what skin tones you may be working with. I hope you all enjoyed that and look forward to our next tutorial. Be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notifications as soon as we release a new tutorial. Again, this is Zach from Action VFX.